Hello Svengers, it's me Svenny McG. Are you finding that you're kind of getting the droops? Are you over 25 and you realize you just don't have that same springiness? That same bounce back you used to have? Maybe you're finding your performance just isn't what it used to be. I'm talking of course about your Nintendo 64 controller. Today we're going to be looking at a replacement for one of these guys. So let's jump in, take a look. Alright my friends, now as you know after the Nintendo Entertainment System and then the Super Nintendo Nintendo went from the cross pad only to this, what they call a precision instrument here. This is the analog stick and this was one of the first controllers to carry one. Now what Nintendo didn't know at the time of creation was that because this is basically a plastic on plastic put together here, with time grinding this around, it actually wears down. You can actually see, besides hand grime in there, gross, but you can see plastic residue in there as well. And with time, what that does is it just causes a generalized wear. So this is supposed to just spring back into place, but what you're finding here is, look at this dead zone. This is not actually gonna be moving anything on screen. That's just how dead the controller is. Just woggling on its own without even being touched. So of course that can be an issue here when you're trying to play a game. When I push this forward, while there is a bit of tension, like I said, up to here, there's not. So now I could actually lose motion. Thankfully, there are modern replacements. You see, the successor to this was the GameCube controller. Many people absolutely love this controller, myself included. And while some people may be back and forth on the C stick because it's not a dual thumbstick, like an Xbox controller, many seem to really focus in on this stick here and how fantastic it is. So modern problems require modern solutions. I recently got a package in the mail from XYAB. We spoke online for a little bit and they kindly sent me this package for free. Now this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid for this. However, I did get this for free and we're gonna go ahead and install this guy today. Okay, in order first to get this Nintendo 64 controller part, I'm gonna have to take out one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh Phillips head here. These guys are tiny little screws, so make sure you don't lose them. One of the things I love about YouTube that I love hearing from you guys, and what's funny is I hadn't heard of XYAB directly. Someone commented on one of my videos and asked if I had ever tried any of their product. I looked them up online, and if you go to their website, you take a look there, I'm telling you, the first thing you're gonna say is, I'll take one of everything. My understanding is XYAB is a distributor based out of the US, and boy, they really seem to have all the products, all the things that you find Going on with your controllers, your systems after 25 years, batteries, battery covers, those types of products, XYAB's got you covered there. Make sure you check them out after this video. And I will have a link for you in the description below. Okay, and with my seventh screw removed, in addition to those seven, there's an eighth and a ninth right here beside either side of this memory card port. So we're gonna get those guys out. They are also Phillips. You should have the proper bit in your toolkits. However, they are looking like they are smaller than the previous seven that we removed. Okay, and with the two of those out, like I said, they are actually smaller. You can see that the two at the top are smaller than the previous seven. So I will denote that by separating them here, but now we're gonna pull this controller apart. And pulling the two apart, the problem with this guy too is look at how grimy. I mean, look at in between these grits. I can tell you already, like, look at this. This grime, this grit's just falling out of it. So this is pretty gross. Like I said, I should actually take the time to properly clean this whole controller up when I get it apart. We're just gonna gently pull it apart here. Maybe give it a little wiggle and a little woggle. And there we go. The Z here actually, this part of the shell does stay with the bottom. And here's the underside of your board here. We can remove this rubber piece as well. And we're gonna keep that over here with the Z button. Flipping this back and forth, I am taking out the left and right bumpers right now. And let's go ahead and remove, we've got one, two, three, it looks like that I need to remove in order to unseat the joystick here. Yeah, and the last of those three screws out, lifting the joystick just like this. Now, I want the input to remain so we're going to clip that out ever so gently. Just push to the one side and to the other, and we're gonna lift it like that. And now what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to disconnect 
right here, this plug-in set. So these pins need to remain on the board. Very important, keep these guys on the board. We're just going to go ahead and unplug here. I'm just gonna use a very tiny flathead myself. We're just gonna get in there and just pry upwards a little bit, ever so gently, see if we can lift it out. It's coming a little bit, a little bit more. And if I pull on all the cables, there, it just kind of popped out of place. I'm sure this was probably in the way, I apologize, but just by pulling on all the cables, again guys, not up, just topwards like this, unplug. All those pins connect to all those pins. This guy is already disconnected. All right, and opening our box of goodies here from XYB, it says joystick assembly for N64 GameCube style. And inside, you'll find exactly that, a GameCube style thumbstick. Fantastic. In order to install this properly, we're going to put the stick downwards, right? So we're gonna make sure all these posts connect so we can screw it back in afterwards. Meaning that on the other side, it's now gonna look like this. See how that assembly all came together? And again, if I'm really going for it, I should take the time to wipe this all out nice, nice. I'm just gonna use a little bit of like a window cleaning solution, basically a Windex, and just wiping around the inside here. Oh yeah, you can see that immediately. So I mean, if you could see what this looked like before with that nice layer of brown grime all the way around the outside here. Let's take a little bit of pride in our stuff here, eh friends? So back to the original task. We're gonna line up the three posts. We're gonna put this in place here. Snaps in just like that because the circle here is ready to roll. Now if you recall here on the Nintendo 64, original one here, that white wire was here on the furthest left side. This one also has a white wire. So we are going to install it with that white wire again, facing to the left. This is just gonna be a straight, simple sliding it into place. I heard a big click there and just gonna squink it down just a little bit more so that it's well seated, well in place here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this guy down into place here, the brown side's down. This pad is facing upwards because afterwards this rubber piece is gonna go down and it's gonna wanna make contact whenever pushing that Z button. That's right, Z, I'm Canadian. Perfect. This seemed to be obviously a tighter fit than the 20 plus year old Nintendo 64 grip had on it, but got it in without issue. The two holes here, we're gonna have the two rubber pieces meet. Again, just get it down as far as you can so that the rubber actually gets clipped in there as well. See, it's actually seated right underneath this tab here and this tab here. Perfecto. Okay, my friends, with this in place, this in place, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to seat the three screws, these little brass colored ones, back in to hold this stick in place. Okay, and with one and two and three all tightened up, let's put our Z and R back in. I'm actually gonna give these guys a quick wipe down too before I install them. The big posts are gonna go downward because even though this is my right currently, your right in this video, this of course is the left when the controller is facing the proper direction. And so of course, by that same idea, this right here is gonna go downward like so. Okay, and with this held in place, with the bumper in place, we're ready to go ahead and put this guy back in, making sure of course that we get it the proper direction here. Pretty hard to mess this up, I'd say. And clip it together, look at that. Back together like a dream. Our two little guys are gonna go again in the top here. With those two now installed, time to put our remaining seven bolts back in place here. All right, my friends, in with the last bolt installed there, all nine on the bottom. Got springiness back in the Z button and check it out. We now have this GameCube inspired stick in place here, matching its brother. And we can say so long to this shaky guy here that no longer is working as well as intended. 
let's go test it out. All right, friends, and you know, often I test here with 1080p snowboarding because it's a fun game and it usually encompasses a lot of the buttons, but so far you could see that the stick was working without issue. You can see here I'm using the GameCube stick and I'm doing it without any issue here. Pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Again, great way to restore it. Very simple to use. You saw how quickly I was able to install, get that going in place here. So thank you again to XYAB. Make sure you check out the links in the description there. I was provided with an affiliated link. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking the video. It always helps grow my channel and throw a comment below. Let me know what you think of this setup here. Until I see you guys again soon, please take care and be good to each other. Bye now.